Time now for some PFT on Yahoo Sports. Peter King, Mike Florio, all the big stories in the NFL. One of the recurring themes of the 2021 season has been the NFL's renewed emphasis on taunting. Now, they last did the point of emphasis on taunting in 2014, and it's an acknowledgement that the officials aren't calling the foul the way that the people who run the league want them to call the foul. Well, they're calling it now, Peter, how big of an issue do you think this is from the standpoint of impacting the product negatively by basically expecting the players to act like robots in an inherently emotional game? Well, Mike, in the wake of the debacle of, uh, of Monday night uh, in which Cassius Marsh, Marsh was called, I think, incorrectly for a taunting penalty uh, that really influenced the end of the game, uh, in the wake of that, I made a couple of phone calls on Tuesday morning and I asked some people who were very close to officials in this league. And I basically asked the question, how many officials now, how many referees right now would call taunting on that play? And the answer I got back was either half or a little less than half. And I think this was an extremely borderline taunting call because it wasn't anything that Cassius Marsh said. And apparently he either said nothing or very, very little. It was simply the act of flexing while facing the Pittsburgh bench and being, by the way, about 30 yards away from the Pittsburgh bench while doing that. And that is not what this rule was meant to to protect against. This rule and this rule's clarification, this rule's point of emphasis was supposed to be about guys getting in each other's faces and being disrespectful, either saying something or else pointing at them or something like that. It wasn't to do to penalize what Cassius Marsh did. And I'll just say one other thing. At some point, you know, look, and I think Tony Correnti is a very good official, but he is also an extremely by-the-book official, okay? And I think at some point, at some time, you have to say to yourself, if you're Tony Correnti, when Cassius Marsh is, Marsh is walking past him on the way back to the bench, hey, listen, don't do that. I'm going to flag you the next time. You know, that was borderline. Uh, because I think that you could make the argument that there's some small element of taunting in there. But you know what that was? That was a joyous celebration by Cassius Marsh, and it should never have been penalized. And Peter, I spent a lot of time in August and September trying to get people to understand what the NFL is allowing and what the NFL is prohibiting because we immediately heard no fun league, no fun league, no fun league. And I tried to help the NFL, because I consider this to be a horrible and massive PR failure by the league to get the fans ready for what was coming because it exploded on the league and the league was like, what the hell? We, all, we just did a point of emphasis on a rule that's been on the books for years. But it's not about celebrating. It's about celebrating at the expense of the opponent, celebrating in the face of the, expo of the opponent. And you know it when you see it. And that's the problem. Last night didn't fall into know it when you see it. And they want to unplug the emotion from an inherently emotional sport. And that, that's what kind of bothers me, that wherever that line is, Cassius Marsh didn't go on the wrong side of it last night. But Tony Correnti was damn sure he did. And then he throws in that little hip check for good measure when Cassius Marsh is going by him. I don't know what the hell that was. And I hope that isn't the last either. we hear about it because it just it seems like Correnti was out of line there. I thought so too. It, 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 you know, I've wa I watched that about five, six times with Cassius Marsh going past him. And I mean, maybe Tony Kareni can say that that was an accident. I didn't mean it. I was just moving something. But it was absolutely bizarre that he stuck his hip out and hip checked Cassius Marsh on the way by. And after the game, a bizarre looking Cassius Marsh, by the way, in a, in a coat where it looked like it was 84 below zero. Uh, but, but he said, you know, if I did that to an official, I'm probably getting suspended, you know, at least fined. And he said it was very inappropriate. And I thought it was too. The whole, the whole, 
you know what? This game was horribly officiated. Horribly. Anybody who watches this game and says, you know what? Young quarterbacks are not going to get the call. Ben Roethlisberger will get the call. He's a veteran quarterback. All you have to do is watch the calls that were not made on Justin Fields, you know, against Justin Fields. And you just say exactly the same thing. It feeds into those stereotypes. Absolutely. And what it also does for those out there who are inclined to think the fix is in, it gives them some ammunition. That's it for now. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.